you working? <laughs> yep. <clears throat> okay, it's 5 o'clock on uh, Tuesday, July the 6th, and I want to welcome everyone to the City Council meeting. Everyone, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Deb. Seven. Here. Jody. Here. Army. Here. 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 Okay, we have a quorum tonight. Uh, entertain a motion then to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. We have a motion from Harley, a second from Mike. Uh, any discussion? Roll call, Deb. Don. Yes. Joey. Yes. Harley. Yes. Mike. Yes. Mike. Yes. Mike. yes. Yes. Okay, across the mayor's desk, desk just want to uh, take this opportunity one more time to thank Mike Saban for his work on, on the council. And I'm sure that um, there'll be an opportunity for you to serve Algona in the future in some manner. Thank you. And also just want to invite uh, and remind everyone of the um, Founders Day celebration um, events, festivities beginning Thursday at uh, Riverview Cemetery. There's uh, voices in the past and or voices from the past. I think Harley, you're participating in that. Yes, yeah, Senator Dickinson. All right, as well as the Heritage Ward. And then there's other events on Friday and Saturday. So any council member have anything they would like to mention? Just that continue the Founders Day, uh, the activities Friday night. I think there's a pian dueling pianos yeah. downtown. And on Saturday, they have kids events on Main Street. And we have art in the park. Uh, so come out for that, too. A lot about the event, I guess the barbecues that night too, so that'd all be fun. Yeah. Okay, move to agenda item number six, an update from the city administrator, Jacob. Um, just two uh, quick items. Um, we've got a, a new project website up for the uh, Moore Street Snap on Drive Industrial Park project. Um, so initial work on that is expected to begin this week. So. Um, residents can sign up for email or text message um, updates, notifications, or just check that website for, for periodical updates if they're interested. Um, it's the same site as the uh, North Main Street, and this is on our Facebook uh, page as well as the city website. Um, they can go on there and accept view and sign up for updates. And then the um, other item is, is uh, we are advertising for the uh, police chief. Uh, position. So we started advertising for that last month and applications are due uh, July 18th. So just wanted to point people to that. Okay, thank you. Agenda item number seven, this is the citizen's opportunity to address the council with any item that's not on the agenda. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak tonight? So is there anyone on the phone? <coughs> Seeing anyone? No. Okay. Okay. We'll move then to the consent agenda, and that includes approving the minutes from our last council meeting on June the 21st, um, approving the bills to be paid this cycle, approve a Class C native wine permit for train wreck winery, approve a Class C liquor license for Columbia Hall Association, approve a a class E liquor license for one stop shop and to approve Jacob's administrator's report. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Don? Yes. Jody? Yes. Harley? Yes. Mike? Yes. Tyler? Yes. yes. Motion carried. We'll move then to new business agenda item number nine. This is an ordinance pertaining to the property maintenance code. Agenda number nine is the first reading of the proposed ordinance creating a new chapter of the city municipal, or Algonne municipal code, uh, the chapter uh, 15.34 property maintenance code. Um, we've had uh, a couple different work sessions on this, so I will not go dive into all the details unless there's any particular questions. 
Uh, but what this sets forth is um, uh, criteria for um, all properties, whether owner-occupied, vacant, tenant-occupied, uh, all types, residential, commercial, industrial, uh, but the standards for uh, maintaining those properties, making sure they, they remain in good repair. This is based primarily off the International Property Maintenance Code, um, adopted to fit um, Algona's uh, code format. Um, so we are following more or less the kind of the, the standard for, for how you go about addressing the uh, property maintenance code. Moved away the first reading. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to waive the first reading. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Yes. Jody? Yes. Marvin? Yes. Mike? Yes. Tyler? Yes. yes. Motion carried. Move to approve first reading. Second. We have a motion from Mike and a second from Harley to approve the first reading. Any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Don? Yes. Jody? Yes. Harley? Yes. Mike? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Motion carried. We'll move to agenda item number 10. And this is an ordinance amending the city code. Uh, city ordinance uh, chapter 5.04315 uh, uh, sets forth that um, any establishments which uh, receive at least 50% of their revenue from uh, the sale of um, alcohol, um, no persons are allowed in there with some exceptions um, after 8 p.m. if they are under the age of or 19 years and under. Uh, what this ordinance does is um, add a new um, section of the um, uh, criteria for, for exceptions to the ordinance that allows um, the council to waive or grant permission um, for this ordinance to, to not um, to allow persons on the premise after 8 p.m. The uh, action would have to be taken separately in terms of what that premise is and the conditions of that. Uh, but this ordinance just grants council the authority that if in the future they would want to make um, that exception, um, they could do so. Um, right now, there, there's nothing in the ordinance that, that allows for, for that discretion. This was discussed originally back in 2019 in relation to Founders Day and then uh, came up again with the uh, revised format that we're looking at for Founders Day in 2021. Um, kind of in the timing of things, um, we're recommending um, that this ordinance, that all three readings uh, be approved and it be adopted tonight so it could be published on Thursday and therefore in effect uh, by this weekend and then a later action item if council so wish to grant a permission um, under this um, exception can do so. I think it's good to give council the opportunity to uh, make exceptions uh, for any rule like this. So I would um, move to uh, waive the first reading. Second. Okay, we have a motion from Harley, a second from uh, Tyler. Any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Don. Yes. Jody. Yes. Harley. Yes. Mike. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Motion carried. Uh, move to approve the first reading. Second. We have a motion and a second then to approve the first reading. Vote please, Deb. Don. Yes. Jody. Yes. Harley. Yes. Mike. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Motion carried. Move to waive the second and third readings. Second. We have a motion and a second then to waive the second and the third readings. Any discussion? Vote please, Deb. Don. Yes. Jody. Yes. Harley. Yes. Mike. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Motion carried. Can we move straight to adopt? Yes. Okay, <laughs> move to adopt. Yes, second. Okay, we have a motion and a second then to adopt this ordinance. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Don. Yes. Jody. Yes. Harley. Yes. Mike. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, agenda item number 11 pertains to Founders Day. Um, so the uh, ordinance uh, that was just approved that will, uh, is set to be published then this Thursday, uh, which the ordinance will then go into effect. 
Um, Founders Day Peps um, is subject to the 19 ordinance. Billy Joe's is not. Um, so we would recommend that um, consider granting exception to Peps for um, Friday, July 9th from 8 p.m., which is when the ordinance or the 19 ordinance requirement kicks in until 11 p.m., which is when uh, the ban on State Street is scheduled to end. I'll move to grant that permission. Second. We have a motion from Jody, a second from Harley. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Um, yes. Jody? Yes. Harley? Yes. Mike? Yes. Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Agenda item number 12 involves a change order for North Main Street reconstruction project. We have uh, Matt Cole with uh, Bolton Bank Engineering uh, with us this evening and talk through some of the technical aspects of this change order. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, yes, change order two pertains to two storm sewer manholes that were originally planned to be left in place due to their condition. Um, working around them with the construction project and building a new street on top of them, we determined that it was better to get them replaced with the project. Um, they are DOT swap funding eligible, so there's no real cost to the city for this change. Um, and the lead time for construction materials for the manhole itself, um, we've actually already gone through the approval process with the DOT. Uh, so the change order you have in front of you is DOT approved, and since it's their funds, uh, we actually have already started work and completed work on one of the manholes that is associated with this change order. But is there any questions? Nope. Okay. Thank you. Move to approve change order. Second. We have a motion from Mike, a second from Don. <clears throat> any discussion? I guess if there's any discussion on North Main Street in general or, or this change order, now would be the time if, you, if there's any questions on that. Everything's on schedule? Yeah, they're working on storm sewer currently on North Main Street. Once they get that wrapped up, they'll start construction on more, uh, potentially later this week, early next week. Are there other utilities um, that are being worked on there too, or is that all done? <coughs> all the... Uh, all the sanitary and water main on Main Street is complete. All the services are completed. Um, so it's just storm sewer that's left to remain uh, to be constructed. They're working on Hope Street right now, which is the, hmm. the furthest north intersection. So they're in the last block of storm sewer construction. Um, they're working on some cutting of the street currently. Uh, they started that today, pulling the dirt out to prep for subterranean construction and, and rock base. Okay. So. Yep, Main Street is getting closer to paving, and uh, more Street, like Jacob said earlier, will be started potentially this week, more, more realistically probably next week. Okay. So, so more, you, you, know, you probably aren't going to do anything. Is that blocked off at all yet or not? No, the gas no. company is working there, so we wanted to get uh, the residents uh, along that corridor signed up for the website so we could send out some updates if the gas company wants to disturb any service. But they're going to pour in the new line and connect it to the old main and the block, so. Yeah. We were, well, Art in the Park is going to be going on next Saturday, and the street's right beside there. We were curious if things are going to be going on or not during that time. Yeah, the gas company should um, hopefully be done with their boring this week. They might be making the connections next week, but I don't think they're going to work on Saturday to do any of that stuff. Yeah. Um, Redding is, is aware of the road closures for Founders Day um, and we'll work around that if they do by chance get started on it this week yet, but there will be a more course next week. Okay, Just thank you. Just to congestion in the area. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. <clears throat> so we have a motion and a second. <clears throat> Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Tom. Yes. Jim. Yes. Arlen. Yes. Mike. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Motion carried. Agenda item number 13 is a resolution dealing with transfer of funds. Yes, John Bilstein um, with Lagoon Municipal Utilities here can speak on this item. Great. Thank you, Madam City Council. The resolution you have in front of you is simply 
a change to the interest rate. We currently play an interest rate of 3.58%, uh, subject to our recommendation from our financial advisor. Current interest rates are more in the lower range, as you know from recent bond issuances. 1.33% is what they recommended to us. Under the section 384.89 of the City Code of Iowa, 2021, and Rule 2.55, uh, the City Finance Committee it is uh, the authority of the City Council to take uh, something that's already been approved by the AME Board of Trustees and recommended that City Council then ratify that uh, so that we can make that change to the interest rates. There are no new funds here, and this is just a change in the interest rate. Uh, we have funds available, uh, and it does not have uh, any issues uh, related to our finances to do that. So we recommend approval. Any questions? Okay, I'll move to approve. Second. We have a motion from Jody, a second from Tyler. Any discussion? Vote please, Deb. Don? Yes. 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 Tyler? Yes. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you, John. Agenda item number 14 is a resolution pertaining to the airport. Um, as discussed in the work session, this uh, relates to the uh, grading and AGIS uh, airport improvement contract the city has with uh, CGA. Or do you have to... um, nothing more than what we discussed during the work session. Uh, the chairman of the airport commission feels that they need to move forward with this. Uh, they've lost confidence in the current engineer. Move to approve. A second. We have a motion from Harley, uh, second from Don. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Don? Yes. Jody? Yes. Harley? Yes. Mike? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Motion carried. Agenda item number 15 is a resolution also involving the airport. This resolution um, would approve um, professional services uh, master agreement with Bolton Inc. for engineering services. Um, as discussed in 2019, when the city procured uh, services for the airport. Bolton Inc. was the uh, only other firm to um, submit a proposal. Move to approve the resolution. I'll second. We have a motion from Don, a second from Jody. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Don? Yes. Jody? Yes. Harley? Yes. Mike? Yes. Tyler? Yes. 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 Motion carried. Agenda item number 16 is a resolution of pr approving permanent <coughs> storm sewer easement. Um, this is a resolution approving a storm sewer um, conveyance and easement with snap-on tools. Um, this is for um, easement um, on the east side of the property there, which will be impacted with the construction of snap-on drive. Um, the uh, storm sewer just crosses over the property before it becomes on the city right away. So. Um, this approves and authorizes the mayor to enter into a uh, easement and utility conveyance agreement with snap-on tools for the stormwater. This is a lot like the one we just did with the transfer and storage. It's the same stormwater. It just runs a little more on snap-on's property than what it does on white transfer property. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion from Mike, a second from Don. Any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Don? Yes. Jody? Yes. Harley? Yes. Mike? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Motion carried. Agenda item number 17 is a resolution pertaining to a construction easement. Um, this approves and authorizes the mayor to, to make final negotiations if needed on the proposed temporary construction easement for construction of Teats Park. Um, I'll go to Manor, owns the property immediately west of uh, where we will be uh, building the uh, Teach Park Shelter House project. Um, contractors asked for an area for staging, um, and so 
we've prepared uh, a construction easement which would grant um, the city the right to use um, approximately a 50 foot wide by 150 foot long section of that property um, for staging and then in the spring of 22 the city would be responsible for restoring it to its current condition. Um, like I said, the resolution also authorizes the mayor to do any negotiations. Um, this easement has been uh, presented to uh, Elkona Manor. We have not received a signed version or any comments from them. We're looking at starting this project hopefully mid-July. Um, so if there's any kind of tweaking um, that needs to be done um, the way the resolution is written, we can make those changes um, as well. Uh, but just want to get the wheels on this uh, in motion so if, if the contractors are already starting to be dirt mid-July, which they hope and need to use the space, um, we can get that easement in, easement in place. Okay, so this is, um, people can think about Algona Manor, but this is actually the property to the north of there between there and State Street that just a grass field that they own. Yeah, so they, they own from McGregor to State. So um, the area that we'd be interested in, the, the temporary construction easement would just be in this northeast corner. Teets Park Shelter House would be going in about right here. Okay, move to approve. Second. We have a motion from Harley, a second from Mike. Any discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, vote please, Deb. John? Yes. Joey? Yes. Harley? Yes. Mike? Yes. Yes. Motion carried. Agenda item number 18 is a resolution involving the city and NIACOG. Uh, this is the annual agreement um, with NIACOG uh, to provide transit services. Um, we uh, lease the, uh, the van slash bus um, from NIACOG for a dollar a year. Or we then have joint responsibilities in terms of maintaining insurance, um, staffing it. Um, these are uh, federal funds which are um, allocated to NIACOG and they operate a uh, service within the region and then have agreements with cities to provide uh, services within city limits. Um, so this is just one of those sub-agreements um, that uh, lays out basically for that uh, taxi service, what the conditions are, and, and the city's obligation um, for that. It's more or less been the same for several years. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve this resolution involving the city of Nyakod. Any discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Yes. Jeremy? Yes. Pardon? Yes. Pardon? Yes. 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 Motion carried. Agenda item number 19 is a resolution um, involving the CDBG housing program. Uh, so, agenda item number 19 is a resolution repealing resolution 21 139, which was approved by the council on June uh, 21st. Uh, the Requests for proposals for technical assistance have been extended to July 6th, so um, we need to more or less repeal that ordinance so the award of the technical assistance can be reconsidered uh, since that deadline was uh, extended, like I said, to this resolution just simply repeals that, that previous resolution and the next item um, readdresses the topic. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Yes. 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 Motion carried. So then we'll move to agenda item number 20 that Jacob spoke of. So I said the uh, extension um, was granted until noon today on July 6th as it was published. Um, our, we didn't receive any other uh, proposals. So its recommendation is still go with NIACOC in their original proposal. And that's what this resolution does, is it awards that to NIACOC. So what basically changed? I forgot to submit it to the paper. 
Oh, okay. In the paper, so we had to oh, I see. <laughs> so it's done proper now. <coughs> Move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Uh, yes. Joey? Yes. Carmen? Yes. Mike? Yes. Yes. Motion carried. Move to agenda item number 21, and that's a, approving a sign permit for Founders Day. The Historical Society has requested permission to, to put a sign um, up for the Founders Day in January if he's here and I'll let her, her present. Okay, so I'm here because Jacob told me I had to come. <laughs> he said I couldn't just do this on my own, but just put a sign out. And, and the other reason is that we did get, the Historical Society did not get included in the Founders Day activities. So we were like, we are going to have a uh, brought all of our vintage gowns down to the main floor of the museum and so um, they'll be easily accessible for everybody to view during that time and um, we're going to do having Uncle Sam where you put your face in your picture tape with Uncle Sam and um, we have artifacts actually from the founding fathers in our in our collection so if anybody's interested in our founding fathers which I feel like Founders Day should be about um, we would like to um, get them drawn down to the museum. So, um, from what I understand, Dodge Street is going to be closed off during Founders Day. And so we were wondering if you could put a sign, like an A-frame sign, kind of like a photograph picture of it, up on, on just on Dodge and State, and just to direct to, I mean, I wrote, put our little flyer on it, maybe, or some other signage on it and just direct people down to that, to the, to the museum, so they know that we are open and we are, have things going on there. And also, if we could, I'm not for sure, maybe on Nebraska and Dodge also, and uh, maybe a sign on the sidewalk outside the museum, just kind of directing them into there. And that Uncle Sam is going to have plus sides somewhere on, the, on there too, so because it stands about this tall. So, so, so that's, I guess, we would like to have permission to um, do that for Founders Day for some signage up. Yeah, I think this is a good idea, and actually, I think we might reconsider someday uh, the use of those little A frame signs. Um, I know a couple of years ago we had a short discussion on it and kind of banned them, but. Um, as I travel around, uh, I mean, as you check out different towns, more of the touristy t type towns, they're used extensively. Now, I assume the city probably should have standards, so you don't just have, you know, a couple pieces of cardboard sitting out there. But um, I think it's something uh, we should approve this and also um, consider opening that up more in the future to um, a certain standard type sign that uh, would be allowed. Anyway, I'd move to approve. Second. We have a motion from Harley, second from Mike. Any other discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Uh, yes. Jody? Yes. Hi. Yes. Mike? Yes. Tyler? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, and one other note. Um, on the days when we we're open, we're open Saturday, Sunday, same time as the POW, and they put a sign out in there on their sidewalks and open today. Could we have permission to do that on the days that were open? Just to put some signage out so that, I mean, we can even put it not on the sidewalk itself, but more towards the parking where, you know, the, where the pavers are, you know, so it's not blocking the sidewalk. So we could do that on the days that were open. I think this is something we probably need to address in the future, don't we? Yeah. I think the way the agenda is specific to Founders Day, um, okay. um, the way that's listed, we should we should probably address that. But I, I think that should be a, a relatively simple thing that if we want to be sure to approve it. The main mm -hmm. thing is, um, just in terms of clearance, four feet for ADA, um, that is not going to even be a distraction or hazard displacement. But um, I think that's something that we can probably add to future action item. Yes, yeah, so I have to come back. <laughs> yep. You enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> we like to see you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. 
All right. We'll Thank you, Dan. Mm -hmm. Okay, agenda item number 22. This involves an appointment to the airport zoning commission. Uh, Nick Deers was on that commission, but was hired as our uh, full-time employee. So this is a council appointment. Um, so we need to appoint someone in the airport zoning commission. Anyone have a name? I think we have that, but um, the airport board of our uh, this is the board of adjustment, the 22. Mm -hmm. um, what do they do and how often they meet? I know some boards this hardly one, ever meet. I don't think this one so, ever meets. I don't meets. think they've met right. in many, 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 many years. Okay. I know Nick's been on it for four or five. Zoning regulations. Um, so it was just if someone would want to develop out there at some point, height, setback, lighting, those types of things. But since we don't have development around our airport, and I I don't know in the last time that that has okay. been that. But it'd it'd be, be a good one. Be he'd been on for quite a few years and he'd never been to a meeting. Yeah, and I remember when I when I got Nick on, Kurt had said they hadn't met in six years at that point. So I mean, it's right. been over ten years. So we just need somebody's name in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. This would be a good one then to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Not much involved. From the government. Okay, so we need to keep that in mind then as council. So agenda item number 23, this is the final notification and appointment for um, AMU Board of Trustees and Jay Giving's term expired May the 31st um, and this is an appointment from the mayor I've been in conversation with John Bilstein and we recommend reappointment of Jay Giving to the AMU Board of Trustees. Move to approve. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to reappoint Jay Giving uh, to the AMU Board of Trustees. Is there any discussion? Um, just one item my memo incorrectly said it was for a five year term, the appointment's for a six year term. Six year term, yeah. I wondered about that, but yeah, okay. I'm sure that Jay will still be in agreement <laughs> with that. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none, vote please, Deb. Don? Yes. Joe? Yes. Carly? Yes. Mike? Yes. Yes. Motion carried. Good. Thank you, Jay. He'll be a, continue to be a good contribution to that board. So. Agenda item number 24, this is the second notification of term expiring and future appointment for the Airport Board of Adjustment. And this is an appointment by the council. So this is a different one than, was it the other one, the Board of Adjustment? Airport, they're the same board, we'll just need two, so we'll need two. Oh, I see, okay, okay. Nick's was because he was hired and city employees can't serve on commissions and, and right. monies. It's because oh, and her term is set to okay. expire. So the same board is just, okay, two positions there. Okay. All right, then agenda item number 25. This is second notification of vacancy of future appointment to the cemetery board. And we have a vacancy there due to the death of Midge Andreessen. This is also um, an appointment by the council and her term would ex expire the 31st of March, 2026. And so we need to um, ask for that a name also from someone who would like to serve on the cemetery board. Okay, and then agenda item number 26 is the second notification, resignation and future appointment. Again, to the AMU Board of Trustees. Um, again, this is a mayoral appointment, and John Bil Bilstein and I have been in conversation with one another, and um, I think we'll be able to recommend um, a gentleman at our next meeting. So that brings us to the end of tonight's um, agenda. It's 535, and I would ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Uh, I had to do it. Motion carried, right. meeting adjourned. <laughs>